Hello, this is Bern, and if you're confused about what it takes for a man to commit his heart and his life to you, on today's video, I'm going to be sharing seven needs he has that are stronger than sex to inspire him to go all in. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to another edition of BernMendez.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious and heart-centered women how you can attract the man you want and the relationship you crave without the need for gimmicks, manipulations, or silly techniques. If this is your first time here and this is a subject that deeply interests you, make sure to click the subscribe button so you can watch more episodes as they come out. Now, if you have been on the receiving end of ambiguity, lack of commitment, lack of movement, from a guy, or let's face it, several guys throughout your relationship life, and you're at the point where you're not sure how to move forward and what is it that you're missing that is causing many of these guys to not value you or not commit to you, then this video is all about how to reverse that and how to understand fundamentally what is it that a guy really needs to be in the place where he values commitment more than the fear of missing out on a single life or missing out on freedom. <laughs> now, before I get fully started, I'll just share with you that if this is something that you're interested in and you also wanna go well beyond what I can share on this video, beyond the intellectual understanding of how this works into the doing and being that allows you to get there, then make sure to go to the first link on the description of this video. When you go to that link and you click it, you'll see a page that looks like this, enter your name and email, and you can start watching my free masterclass right away. <laughs> so one of the first things that we have to get over if you really want to create, inspire that devotional commitment from a man is this cat caricature vision of men as animalistic creatures that have few emotional needs and who fly by the seat of their pants and who don't see uh, value in thinking about the future and who don't have deep emotional needs. The reality is that we have deep emotional needs. The problem is we haven't been taught how to express those needs. And to be honest, it's not something that's been valued highly throughout our lives. So we get to a stage in life where we have needs, we don't know how to express them, and then we don't meet them. <laughs> or we don't share how you, as a woman, can help us meet our needs in relationship. So the first need, in order to feel a deep sense of commitment and connection with you as a woman is a sense of being admired. Think about it. From a very early age, we have been taught to be of value, to do things that matter, to make change in the world in some ways. And when we do those things, we have an insecurity inside that yes, do we need to be able to self-validate? Of course, we want for the woman we're with to be able to admire us, to look up to us in some ways for the things that we do, for who we are, for the effort that we put into not just ourselves, but helping other human beings, including the relationship, to have a sense of fulfillment and a sense of passion. So if you are with a guy that you don't feel is really admirable, it will not take long if he has any sense of worth to move on to connect with someone who may not be as intelligent, as beautiful, as accomplished, he, her IQ may not be as high as yours, but she might validate him in real ways, not fake ways, by thinking highly of him for who he is, and he's going to feel drawn to that human being. Now, understand that this is not just an egotistical need that we have. I mean, of course you could say, well, insecure human beings have a need of being admired. Yeah, but we also want to make sure, at a, think about it, at the deepest level, a man wants to be your hero, not just for himself, but to have value and to have something special in your life. So when you don't admire him, there's no way on earth he can fulfill that mission within the relationship, which he has at some level by society, at some level from a DNA perspective, he has that need. And if he can't contribute to you that way, he'll find at some point somebody else he can contribute to at that level. Second need is the need for being desired. And I can't emphasize this strongly enough because a lot of women feel like guys are mostly wanting sex. Is sex a need that men have? Yes, of course. It's also a need that women have. But beyond the need for sex, men, we need to feel that you desire us. 
And the challenge in a lot of relationships when they start a certain way and they evolve and then life gets in the way and then the common things that we do remove the passion from our feelings is that he no longer starts feeling like you feel that sense of passion. Now, I'm not saying that it's just his fault, your fault. I'm not putting the blame on you. I am saying that regardless of whose fault it is, if it's 50-50 or 90-10 or 10-90, if a man doesn't feel desire from you, he's going to search for that feeling of being desired through someone who is not you. Now, it's not a justification for cheating, of course. And at the same time, you need to figure out, number one, who in your life is worthy of admiration so you don't waste your time with guys you don't feel like you admire, but also, you need to find that space of desire inside of you and the expressiveness to let it shine so that he knows that there's a deep bond in connection that goes well beyond sex, which is your heart and your sensuality seeking his. Number three, and this seems simple, but you'd be surprised how many men don't feel this way and that's feeling seen. So what do I mean by feeling seen? I mean that, as I shared earlier, because we don't necessarily understand all of our emotional needs and don't have the language to express them, we go through life with some guards and with a lack of vulnerability in expression of who we are, but there's human beings who have the capacity to hold space. Women have capacity to hold space. Women have capacity to go deeper into who somebody is versus just seeing the superficiality of the man and saying, well, he is this way. When you have the capacity to hold space for someone, to understand the intricacies and nuances about him, to understand why he is the way he is, when you understand his dreams, you understand his values, you understand his fears, then you have the capacity to see a man beyond the judgment and have a deep sense of witnessing his experience in a way that other human beings haven't. So think about it this way. If the man has gone through his entire life without that deep sense of being seen because he doesn't know how to share uh, in a way the deepest part of him and you, without changing who he is, have the capacity to hold space for him, to inquire, to go deeper, to figure out the truth of who he is in a way that no one else has, to figure out the uniqueness about him, then you have so much value in his eyes you have so much connection with him because you're doing something that other human beings haven't had the capacity or the will or the desire to do, which is witnessing him, heart, body, and soul. Next one is being useful and adding value. You will be surprised how many men don't feel like they can add value to the woman they're with. Why is that? Well, typically, because you have learned through your life and through being sometimes deceived by men or betrayed by men or being abused by men, that you should be doing everything on your own. So you grow in such a way that you, and it's powerful. It's more powerful than needing someone all the time. You go all in into yourself and you become so independent that when a guy comes around and he wants to add value to your life, you're like, nah, <laughs> I'm good. Can I do this? No, this is good. I, I, I'm good. So when a guy repeatedly tries to figure out the space to add brightness and value to your life, but you're thinking he has an agenda, or you think, well, if I do that, then I'm gonna feel dependent on him in some way, and he can't add value, that's going to significantly reduce his level of desire to be with you long-term, because he has that strong need, not just for the world and a mission, but for the woman he's with. Next one is your trust. Again, I'm not saying that you should implicitly trust any man you connect with and be an open book with him and share your deepest secrets. What I'm sharing is that if you have been hurt by men, if you have been hurt, I mean, starting from your dad to your uncle to your cousins to other men who've been in relationships with you, and you have this inherent mistrust of men, and you don't open up even with a basic level of trust at the beginning of a relationship, then he's going to attempt to prove to you in some ways that he's trustworthy, but there's going to be a time where he'll say, I'm out. So think about what level of trust you have of men and how you can start from one basic space of some level of trust and grow through time versus starting from this is not, uh, men are not to be trusted and you have to convince me uh, that you're worthy of my trust. That's too much for someone. Yes, you want for someone to show up through time, but you wanna start with something basic that may be beyond where you're starting from right now. Next one is your respect. And I'm gonna be very specific on this one because there's so many different ways that you can step into respect for a man. 
right? Men have, men have a deep need for respect because it's how they measure themselves in the world. They measure themselves, am I being respected? They don't, they don't, like the, almost like your manhood is not, <laughs> is not there anymore. And one of the most common ways in which women disrespect men without their knowing is by connecting with men who are maybe three steps below where they think he needs to be in order to create a fulfilling life and then taking it upon yourself to making your project, you be the woman who changed his heart, you be the woman who brought him back to life, you be the woman who rescued him uh, in a sort of hypothetical way speaking. Uh, and, <laughs> and when that happens, you take the position of being a counselor or being a therapist or being a coach or being all of the above, including a mommy, and then telling him what to do, when to do it, how to do it, and how he's doing it wrong. Whenever you're in a relationship where the guy is so far out from where he needs to be that you feel you have to take it upon yourself to become the mother, that is one of the most disrespectful things you can do for yourself because you're not enjoying it, but to him. Because the last thing he wants is to have someone, his partner, telling him how to do life and how to do things. That's a way men feel disrespected. So again, uh, there's nothing wrong with you sharing an ideal, a goal, something that needs to change. But when that becomes the gist the play, the game of the relationship. He's not where he needs to be and I'm gonna help him get there. That's a dysfunctional relationship that will cause him to feel disrespected and you to feel so frustrated that it's not even funny. Last one is your standards. And I leave this for last because if you remember nothing else from this but this one, then your time watching this video is worth it. What do I mean by your standards? I mean, some women share with me, I gave him everything and he still left me or I gave him everything and he still was disrespectful. You gave him everything except that which he needed. Not saying that every man deserves your love, I'm saying that sometimes the thing he needs that you're not giving is your standards and your boundaries. If you allow a guy who may be well-intentioned and intelligent and good to develop bad habits with you by doing things that go against your value and against your standards and you don't step up to share what this are, then it's going to be, there's going to be a point where the relationship will be so far off from what you want and the thing he would have needed from you is for you to say, no, this is not what I need, this is what I need. I can only do this if I'm willing to step out if this doesn't happen. That's something that all men need. So please understand that if you're doing all the other things at some level, but you're not stepping up for yourself out of fear of being alone, out of a fear that this guy is the best thing that could have ever happened to you and if you were to leave him, no one else will love you this way, you won't find this level of chemistry, all the things that you might be saying to yourself, which are by the way not true, <laughs> then you may not be stepping into a kind and respectful but cl clear way of expressing your boundaries in a way that you can get the commitment and the respect that you want and need from a man. Hope this is helpful, useful, insightful. If it is, I'm gonna ask you to do one thing. If you wanna take this further and understand how to embody this transformation, not from an intellectual perspective, but from your heart and soul, then make sure to click the first link on the description of this video where you'll be able to watch my free masterclass that can show you how to do just that. Uh, if you like this video, please, please, please click like or thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Now, if you like these videos <laughs> as you subscribe to my channel, or if you're already a subscriber, make sure to hit the little bell. Otherwise, I may come up with 34 videos and you may not even see them on your feed. Last but not least, if you and I are resonating right now, if you know this stuff is the truth about what you need to do to step forward, you've been watching videos, you've been going to therapy, you've been doing yoga, you've attempted the law of attraction, you've consulted the charts and the stars, <laughs> but you're still stuck you're still not getting what you want and you don't want to run around in circles, you might highly benefit from my hand holding and help. So the second link in the description of this video will allow you to apply to work with me and if we're a fit, we'll have a conversation and I'll share with you specifically how I can help you get where you want to go in a fraction of the time. Thank you so much for allowing me to your heart, into your home, into your feed and as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.